Uh, this is Roy Jim Shaith. Uh, my first request to all of you is to subscribe my channel. It gives me motivation to make more educational videos for you. And uh, today we're going to study the CCP lectures in Module 1, Book 1, Chapter 3, Supply Chain Management Strategy. Uh, you know, uh, our first, you know, topic here is the objective of the supply chain management. There are five objectives of the supply chain management. Increase sustainability improve management of risk, improve market knowledge, streamline operations, implementing three Vs, increase visibility, increase in velocity, reduce variability in the flow of good services, fund and information. So first one is increase sustainability. Sustainability and green are synonyms. So this concept is, you know, very much important now in the supply chain especially in the developed countries and you know this is the concept that what we're gonna uh, shift or give to our next generation sustainable resources for, per for producing energy that can be sustained like energy from wind and solar energy sustains means that these are sustainable resources of energy that will live forever like you you can use the wind to produce the energy you can use the solar uh, energy so rest of the energy resources you can say that are not sustainable like the coal and the natural gas so one day one day they're gonna finish and um, so the concept here is to use that sources of energy in the supply chain that are sustainable and that are green and they, there's no harm to the uh, environment so this is very important uh, and very emerging concept that of the supply chain that we need to care about our environment and we're gonna shift to our new generation in a good way that you know they can also enjoy the environmental uh, uh, good conditions number second is improving management of risk risk is defined as hazard source of danger loss misfortune possible of incurring loss or injury with supply chain management the organization develop risk management strategy and a plan in advance that describe how it will address the vulnerability by avoiding accepting transferring or mitigating risk managing risk proactively given organization and edge over is competition so risk management later on we're going to discuss it's a separate topic that gives a detailed discussion about risk management in the supply chain this is just a small introduction i'm sharing with you Number third is improve market knowledge. With supply chain management strategies in place, partners in the supply chain begin to share their knowledge about the marketplace and in particular about the customers. It takes some time for the organization to build the trust before they share the, their account information. This is a huge information that your supply chain partners can share with you. This includes transaction record, customer survey result, sales and sale representative knowledge information from the distribution point such as retail internet site. It is less expensive to get data from the supply chain partners. Purchase data is more useful in acquiring the new customers. Number four is streamlining the operations. The benefit of supply chain management requires the mastery of connected process. Identify the bottleneck or the problem areas in the supply chain. The benefit of streamlining the operation is felt enterprise-wise and across the functions. So let me tell you one thing that process are very critical in supply chain. So as a supply chain professional, so we need to study the whole process of the system and then identify the bottleneck areas and any step that is creating a increase in time are creating some problem. We need to remove that process and make the process easy and connected. So the process are the key to the success of a supply chain. So we need to much 
more and more focus on the process management. Number five is implementation of the three V's. Increase visibility, increase in velocity, reduce variability in the flow of goods, service, fund and information. This I have already discussed in the last my lecture nine. So here I just give a little detail of it. Visibility is the flow of the information throughout the supply chain from the uh, supplier to the manufacturer to the distributor to the customer so if uh, things are visible so the variability will be less so whenever there is a visibility in supply chain due to the systems or erp or something like that and you are able to you know see the all the things like orders and like point of sale data for example if you can see there are like 500 sale of diapers and immediately this same information go to the uh, distributor from retailer to distributor and the same information uh, you can go it 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 is visible in the warehouse and the same same information is visible in the man to the manufacturer so there is less variability in the supply chain variability i will let you define it is the division from the standard results like for example you have like estimated the sale of 500 diapers and there may be sale of like 300 diapers this is a variability like to have 200 variability from the standard so second one is the velocity so when you have more visibility you can have more velocity velocity is the flow speed of the flow of the information funds uh, physical products products for recycling that go back from uh, from the customer to the disposable disposal so velocity is the speed with which the execution of distribution of of the physical products cash flow all these things happen how quickly they happen so you, again you know you have less variability for example like there's a demand of 500 diapers and if you don't deliver it within an hour or within a day and within 10 days so how quickly you deliver the demand so that there are less chances somebody else gonna sell this product so increasing the velocity will reduce the variability so our main objective here is to reduce the variability variability is the deviation from the standard results like for example again i give an example like we are going to send sell 500 diapers we have sale estimate of 500 diapers in a day if 200 are sold that this is a variability so that's in the supply chain this is very critical and if you need to check the detail you go you can go back into my lecture 9 thank you very much for the and have a nice day